Bring the knight out. Shall we hit the pawn in the center as we do? Take. Coming for the pawn. Can't save the pawn. We are plus. We don't need to be greedy. So can we attack their king area? I think developing the knight. Bishop takes rather than the queen. Oh, would have been nice if that was a fork. Something's telling me it's not best position for them, but we have to be able to do something about it. Bishop's got no protection, just bringing it here, just be mindful. Making space for Castellin, looking to try and sit it here. Don't want to do anything crazy, just because it looks like we're in a better position, but it's only just started as the game. It just looks a bit odd with them having the queen and the bishop here. And the bishop's coming to come to this square. We can't do arrows, so I have to hover around here. Uh, so they haven't done that. This is a strange one for me. Oh, it's going to get the knight. Because the knight's not going to be able to move. Oh, he's going to get the knight. We move the bishop, he pushes down onto the knight. Although, I suppose in a way, the knight can move because but then the pawn not going to go anywhere else, is it? Yeah, let's bring this here. I was thinking it was uh, because of the x-ray through with the queen onto the king. If he does push there, the knight can just move out the way. Let's bring the queen here. Starting to formulate attacks. On a dark square, let's attack this bishop. Doubles our pawns, I don't mind any of that. Because it was a strange looking opening anyway. Coming for the pawn potentially. I'm going to castle on the queen's side. There's a lot of that lot of activity going. A lot of activity. I think maybe king side. It's all this advanced pawns, attacking the pawn. Maybe be hitting it twice. It's going to move. Okay, let's just bring the rook here first. Oh, looking, oh, excuse me. What am I doing? What happened just then? Right. He's got a nice fork going here. And the king can't come and protect, so the only piece that can protect is this or anything else. Just bring the rook here. We have to see them off. Okay, let's take this knight. He's going to be on the rook. I'm going to have to def don't have to defend the pawn anymore. I can actually swing up here. Is this knight going? Has he moved fairly quickly then? Go here. Up here. Bishop's protecting. We can't do anything about that. Still on, oh, excuse me, still on this pawn. That's the bit of an annoying thing. We do have the bishop, but it just can't come here because the pawn is going to take. If the knight goes here, he takes the rook. Hmm. Bit of a situation then. King's not doing anything, these pawns aren't doing that. What are we going to do? No crazy sacrifices. Takes, pawn takes. Yeah. 
Hmm, hit the pawn, he pushes onto the knight. Where does the knight go? Then we lose the pawn. And we're going to lose the pawn anyway. Hmm. Take the bishop. Knight takes. Hmm. <laughs> Knight moves. Bishop takes the pawn. Knight moves. No real good positions, is there? I'm gonna have to do a non-move, but I don't think it's gonna work in our favor because. Just going to hit the pawn here with the knight. Even if we push this, he can then push this pawn and he's going to have a replication pawn. The knight's going to have to eventually move. I suppose, maybe, there's no suppose about it. Let's hit the pawn. We're going to just drop down onto the knights. We're going to lose the pawn. Yes. So if we attack their pot, oh, that was meant to be an arrow, but we can't do arrows on here. As you can see, the thing flashed up with a right click. So he's defended and so focused on getting that pawn. Can bring the rook here. It's stuck. Ah. So we can bring this rook down, maybe defending the pawn. Bring this rook defending the pawn. We're on two minutes. It's a 10 second increment. Let's bring this rook defending the pawn. It all looks a bit sketchy to this type of opening. But we're now really in the top end of the end game. Rooks are in the centre of the board, that's not a good thing. Gonna start hitting us. Um, so the pawn's attacking. They're giving us something there. He keeps pushing, we take. If we leave it, I don't think we need to do anything with that. So, knight. Try and get this knight active. Captures. Can't take it back because obviously the bishop's protecting. But we're not really wanting to do any of that. Trying to get this knight active. But we did lose that pawn eventually anyway. Visions of getting the knight here. What's it really doing? It's just going to hit us again with the pawn. Can't come back because the pawn's going to take. Bishop's sitting. These pawns are doing a nice job protecting every little bit in the center. Move the rook down. Uh, move the rook down. Get the knight replaced and attacking the bishop. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to do that, but uh, let's do it anyway. He's probably looking to double his rooks here to get a checkmate. We'll have to give the king a flight square at some point. But for now, let's see if we can squeeze him. Yeah, so he is doing that. So let's give us that moment to get the bishop off the board whilst he was planning to double. Unless his knight's got something fancy, I don't think so. I think they were just looking to come and squish the king. The con scare, they're continuing, so we can actually take the rook off the board. Is it the better one though? Because they took a long time there thinking. Takes rook still here. No, I think we'll take. We'll take the rook. 
white square bishop now what can we do he's so protected with these pawns it's unreal and we can't get to this because the bishop's defending lots of counts counts and counts does he have one of those funky positions where he can get our king so he does have a check on the king remove this pawn so we're not going to do that but he's got play on our king side and we have no play so I am going to oh I can't do that because I'm going to lose that rook aren't I so if I bring the rook down then we could look to try and entertain that but it's probably going to be too slow I'm going to bring the rook down away from his king and see if we can get the trade of the rook off I think it's nice looking to jump here not doing that so potentially attacking the rook got no sideways motion so maybe they okay fair enough knight's putting the check on now for a bit of fanciness he's going to get this pawn or this pawn comes here yep so we can't take this pawn with the rook so if we leave the rook, knight oh excuse me no, no, no arrows it's stuck it's stuck right move the king here he takes the pawn can't come back and get the knight we come here takes and he's got passer type thing we don't really want them apples but then he's going to have these passes on this side okay oh 47 seconds right let's do this because we don't want this and now this white square bishop needs to get into some sort of oh but it can't even move because the bishop's covering everything Okay, let's get the rook around the back. 10 second increment. Let's go. Obviously he knows he needs to move the knight or else we'll get in this pawn with a check on the king. Oh no, he's defending with the pawn. Ay, yeah, yeah. let's block. He's blocked his own rook in, but his, rook, his knight can come here. What am I on about? Knight can go there, he's got two outposts. He's coming protecting the pawn. He has to move the knight first, so he's not going to be able to save the pawn. I'm going to take this one. We need to be causing some damage on this pawn because he's got a white square bishop. I think he's just given us the position yes we'll actually go for the pawn I was thinking we're gonna to have to come all the way around the back we're gonna take and get some passes of our own these two pawns are key for them really pushing these down don't think we'll be able to stop them The knight's getting in. What's, what's the story, dude? What's the story? Can't come all the way back. It's just blocking in the rook. Blocking in the rook. The rook's not got any play. Coming back again. Psh, that's not good, you know. That's not good. Not getting out of there. If I come here, try to squeeze round the back, round here again. This bishop's just protecting this square. Maybe we could just in. Oh, excuse me. Did say these pawns are going to be lethal, didn't I? If we inch this pawn away from the white square bishop, it looks like he's just keeping his knight there, protecting the bishop forever, because this pawn is just going to get taken off the board he's got a check on the king so this is Ooh, does the pawn need protecting 
Oh, I think we need to keep the king here. It's hitting the pawn. And... Hmm. The bishop. He hits the bishop. Hits the rook. Oh, he's moving quick because my time's running out. I don't know what happened there. It went crazy. Doesn't mean we're winning anything though, obviously, because they're still playing on. Damn pawns. He pushy, pushy, pushes. Pushes takes, don't, and uh, I don't know if it got two linked pawns. The rooks are not happy with that sort of situation. I don't think we will be able to cope with that. We might have to sacrifice the rook. Hmm. Do we need to sacrifice? 